Hey guys, so this video is about how to begin a Scooby, like a quick one. So there are two ways you can begin a Scooby. One is the tradition method, so you can begin with a knot. You take the center of the strings and then you make a loop and you tie a knot. So that's how you tie a knot. You make this loop, turn it around the finger and pass this. This. So once you have this loop, you have the four strings around it. So you can just begin it, like take the four strings apart, keep the same color opposite if you want two different colors on two different sides. So I have purple and green. So I go like purple and I go green. Take this purple over the second one and then the last one to this loop. So it is important to create a loop on step one so that you can pass the last string through it. And when you pull them together, it looks like a square. So just to give you a close up. This is how it looks and the other method in which you don't tie a loop this one goes pretty quick all you do is you take two strings you take the center and then at this point all you do is you make a plus and now you directly begin with the stitch itself so keep the one going straight, keep that below the other one and then make the loop using the one that is below, the color that is below and take the second one, the third one goes right and then the last one through the loop. This one is a bit difficult because you need to make sure that you pull the strings while you keep your finger right below it because you need to keep it at the center so you need to stretch and you need to pull each and every string one at a time when you pull them all together you have the square stitch without any loop you can just begin any letters or alphabets if you want so you can just go on with the same stitch and you will keep creating the box the same box stitch So I hope you like this quick tip and um, quick tip and I hope it's helpful.